morning guys, John and Jay here, Paved in Stone. Well that was an interesting video yesterday, it's uh, certainly uh, got a lot of opinion out of people. I just want to clear up a couple of things, a lot of people have posted a lot of different stuff. Just to be clear, I'm not saying that if you use soft sand in your mix with shark sand that you're wrong. All I'm saying is that you shouldn't be laying on just building sand alone for paving. There's been loads of reasons listed why you shouldn't do that, that's just the industry standard. Me personally, I prefer to lay just on shark sand and then SBR bond the back of my slabs. That's my preference. In the past, I've used soft sand as well. So I'm not saying that anyone's wrong. If you do a 50-50, 70-30, that works for you. Crack on, fella. That's all good. Um, so we're just going to have a look this morning at the examples that I showed you yesterday. A lot of people have said oh, they like to use the building sand because of the suction. And yeah, I, I'd agree with that. Um, you do get a better suction on building sand, but not as good as you're going to get on SBR. I've changed my methods over this last 18 months, two years. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, the wheel's been reinvented, gents. There's easier ways. Personally, I find it easier. If you're happy to stay with what you know, cool. Do that too. No one's criticising anyone. I'm just trying to illustrate the point. So if we bring the camera down, we can see the one on the soft sand that I laid yesterday. I left that there. He's still there. Now, some of you pointed out that this mix was rather wet compared to my grit sand. Yeah, you're right, it was. But the purpose of my video wasn't to have... Um, you know a perfect mix the purpose of my video was just to try and explain to you the physics of what's actually going on what's scientifically happening with the sand so he's still in there where we laid him yesterday yeah he's got a good suction if I try and work my child in on this edge I'm going to be able to pop him there we go but I popped him quite well you talk about that good suction well he wasn't sucked on that well appreciated the mix hasn't gone off yet it hasn't fully cured this is the day after give you another example yesterday I took a cut out this is with my sharp sand just pure sharp sand bed a wet mix sand and cement five to one and SBR bond now you look at that and tell me that that needs a better bond chances are if I had to pull up this slab and try to reuse it I'm probably not going to be able to reuse that slab because of that bond that's solid gents that's what I'm talking about if you do it differently, you do it differently. No one's saying you're wrong. I'm just talking about the standards within the industry. These are the recommendations that come out from all the major manufacturers that spend millions and millions of pounds doing it. So guys, please don't get too upset, all right? I'm not saying you're wrong, but if I can show you the example of what we see happening now on a daily basis, now that we've changed our methods, hopefully that helps. Cheers, guys.